What are the tools and equipment needed to properly work on HV systems? We're going to find out next. Working on HV systems requires specialized tools that are insulated for high voltage and rated for up to 1000 volts and either made out of a non-conductive material such as plastic or coated to insulate them from electricity. HV systems also require specialty tools for reading the power of the battery and the system in volts and amps. The most common tool used with an HV system is a digital volt ohm meter or DVOM. This meter is designed for HV applications and typically can handle up to a thousand volts. Attempting to use a standard DVOM on an HV system can lead to deadly electrocution and destruction of the DVOM. Electrical measurement tools are categorized at different levels, from CAT1 to CAT4. CAT1 is for measurements performed on circuits not directly connected to mains. CAT2 is for measurements performed on circuits directly connected to the low voltage installation. CAT3 is for measurements performed in the building installation. CAT4 is for measurements performed at the source of the low voltage installation. A minimum of a CAT3 meter is required. However, CAT4 is better as it adds a better layer of protection. It is necessary to know how to obtain proper readings when using an HV DVOM. Testing the meter on a known low voltage source, such as the vehicle's 12 volt battery, is the first step. Faulty meters or leads can produce a false zero voltage reading. You're better off discovering an issue with low voltage than with high voltage. Because the HV system circuits are isolated from the vehicle chassis ground, the leads must take readings directly from the HV connections. A two pole voltage meter measures only voltage. Unlike a DVOM, this tool is not dependent on an internal battery to perform its functions. This means that there is no failure to read or reading inaccuracy that can occur due to a low or dead internal battery. In addition, unlike the DVOM, there are no settings to adjust or select. When testing for voltage on an HV system, you should not only test for voltage between HV positive and HV negative, but also test for HV positive to vehicle ground and HV negative to vehicle ground or chassis. This helps to identify any potential faults in the HV system that have allowed the high voltage to break containment and now be flowing through the vehicle chassis. One more safety step is to take your DVOM or two pole voltage meter and go back to the same low voltage source you tested on and take another reading. A milliohm meter will measure very small amounts of electrical resistance via two probes that each have two terminals. One of the terminals on each probe provides an electrical charge of typically one amp. The other terminal on each probe reads voltage. This allows the tool to determine the resistance in ohms by applying Ohm's law. Being able to accurately identify and read these small amounts of resistance is imperative and is something a standard ohm meter or DVOM simply cannot do. In our next video, we're going to discuss the initial inspection and vehicle handling of high voltage electric vehicles. I'm Jason Stahl. Thanks for watching.